Well, Bassett, an experienced trumped youth this afternoon. Yeah, I mean, uh, I suppose it did. I don't know, you chance your eye, but it was unexpected to be honest. I came in today thinking we're going to get the full 50 overs in, and it rained a bit harder than I thought. Um, so it got down to 20 overs, and it's, uh, it was a strange kind of 20 overs because you still had the power play, so it wasn't a normal 20 overs. So it suited me because there was another guy up in the ring. Um, so yeah, I mean, it just, you know, it's good to, good to contribute again, as I keep saying. What was your mindset as you walked out to bat? A uh, whack it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, like, you kind of like, that's the second time we've played on that, that wicket and the first time I thought there's, the odd ball just kind of does behaves a little bit differently and we obviously didn't really know what, how it was going to perform today so I always had that in mind and then when they batted uh, you, you did see the odd ball just kind of shoot through a bit so you've always got to chance your arm a little bit. Um, but yeah, strong shots, you know you can get fours and sixes relatively easily at Taunton if you connect right so keep your head still and whack it. And you had a bit of luck being uh, put down by uh, Gary Balance. Yeah, I did, yeah. I, I mean, I, yeah, I suppose I did. I mean, it's cricket, isn't it? But yeah, yeah, I was um, quite thankful we dropped that one. Did you feel that um, Somerset let Yorkshire get away with it a little bit, let them get a few too many runs, given the sort of situation at, at half, half time in their innings when they were five down for not very many and then went on to get 158? Do you know what, we we're, were having those chats and we didn't really know, if we we're, if we're honest, because like I've mentioned about the, the kind of fielding, um, there was another guy in the ring, uh, 20 over game, it was just slightly different. Um, also, you, you don't know how the opposition and our guys are going to go in that kind of format because you haven't played or played against many of the guys before, so at the halfway, I honestly had no idea, it wasn't like a normal 2020 game. Um, it felt maybe that they got a couple too many, a few too many, um, but yeah, in, in hindsight, you just, you just have no idea because of that extra fielder in. And what does it feel like being the sort of grand old man of the uh, Somerset Royal London One Day Cup, surrounded by all these all these youngsters? I feel that in the other competitions as well, to be <laughs> honest with you. I think that's just comes with the nature of getting a bit older in cricket. You know, I, I enjoy batting, so I just go out there and, and, and try and enjoy it, and uh, yeah, try and try and. I suppose show some of the other guys how to kind of construct an innings. I guess that's what I've challenged myself with this tournament is that um, see if you can almost just lead by example a little bit with the bat and, and hopefully some guys kind of take a few uh, pointers from it. But with such a young side and missing so many players to the hundred, do you feel that the one day cup side is, is exceeding expectations at the moment? Again, I don't know because I don't know a lot of them. I've never played with a lot of them before. You, you see them and you hear about them. Obviously the up and coming players, you're constantly kind of hearing about them. And we've certainly got some exciting guys coming through. Rui making his debut, he's just about to talk to. He's played for England more times than me already and he's only kind of 17, so he's had a game the other day. Um, but you just got guys like Sonny Baker, Casey, Youngy up top. you just got guys you don't know about until they, they get out there. And they're playing against some, some good players, you know. There's some kind of washed up four-day players playing in this competition. So they've, they've got some competition out there, so it's a good test for them.